fixed, I think. I made my first television transmission and uh, later discovered that by accident it was on two meters. That was bad news. Um, the transmitter of the RSGB um, book at the time happened to resonate on two meters as well as it did on 70 centimeters. The station was aborted. Uh, in the history of the station, we've been on a BBC program in Bristol. Uh, what was it called? Um, can't remember. Anyway, it was a television program transmitted in the West Region and the BBC brought in television cameras. They took a feed from my, at that time, image off from camera through a mixer made by Michael Cox and powered by two um, HP2 batteries. They took their own camera through the same mixer. They had the post office digging up the road, would you believe, outside the house and the signal eventually got to the Broadcasting House in Bristol where it was mixed with the main program and put on the air. That must have been um, a very special first occasion for the British Amateur Television Club when signals from an amateur built camera and a BBC camera went through an amateur built vision mixer before going through post office lines to get on the air. That was all 405 lines and indeed this television station started off on 405 lines, positive modulation. Uh, it's now been modified to give negative modulation and this camera, which was built about 15, 16 years ago, has been modified from 405 to 65 line operation. It's by no means um, the best camera in the world, as it's a little bit old and the Vidicon tube in it is decidedly old. And the lighting this evening is definitely not as good as it ought to be. But as I say, it's only um, the last two or three days that this station has been brought back on the air. And I hope this evening's demonstration will illustrate how uh, amateur television can contribute and add a little bit extra to amateur communication. There's nothing like being able to see the station at the other end. Now, when a station gets going properly, there are possibilities of transmitting film, videotape, and indeed, if you've got an operator behind the camera, of swinging it round and showing the rest of the station. I'm sitting here by myself in Abbott Sand this evening, nobody else at all, and um, the pictures are decidedly uninteresting, being of me only. In a moment, I'll swing it round and hope to try and give you a picture of the transmitter and of the um, two-meter rig, but it may not work very well, so please uh, forgive me if it's not as good as it might be. The aerial system at uh, this station at the moment consists of a J-beam 48 element aerial on a pole uh, planted into a hedge. It's not very high, hopefully it'll go up a bit soon and the signals will get better. But uh, these are all things to be done in the future, and time seems to melt away so much. So, I think that's about all from now. Um, amateur television is fun. Don't take it too seriously. Enjoy it. I have over the years. And here now are a few pictures of G8 AER stroke T. you can see here is the television transmitter which runs about 150 watts peak white. It's totally solid state apart from the final trend, final um, amplifier. Starts off on an 8 megahertz crystal, multiplies up to 2 meters, then has a Varax tripler from 2 meters up to 70 centimeters before it feeds the 4CX250P in the final cavity. The modulator designed by G8 ADM is totally solid state and grid modulates the final amplifier. The limitation I suppose is that the bandwidth is between two and a half and three megahertz. Now this has an advantage in that the sidebands don't extend out too far. A disadvantage in that um,
colour is out at this stage and it is purely a monochrome transmission. The power supply for this transmitter is not very good and if I start loading it too much it will drop from about 1200 volts on load on offload to about 800 volts on load. Plenty of things to do to soup up the system and make it a little bit better but the point is it works. If I now tilt the camera down a little bit further you'll see the television waveform being transmitted and this waveform is from an off-air probe in the feed to the aerial. Now finally to the 2 meter rig, which some of you rec will recognize, an FT, uh, a TS770 multiband, um, 2 meters, 70 centimeters. I'll try to put the microphone down to um, focus the camera, which at the moment is now handheld. I hope you notice the frequency of the channel, which is the amateur television calling channel on 144.750. Television activity is not very high at the moment, so we haven't bothered to move off this channel, hoping that anybody else will realise that there's some activity on TV. And with that, I think the time has come to bid you all a very good night, and I hope you realise that this transmission was indeed presented by the British Amateur Television Club. Recording quick. <laughs>